All right, I did something that I don't do. At least I don't usually do it, haven't done it, and I decided to do it. And what that is, is I reached out to a company. I was so excited. Okay, let me just explain. Let me backpedal just a little bit. I was looking for a very, very, very specific bag. And it's not necessarily just a specific bag, but specific features of a bag. And for somebody who doesn't know me, welcome to my channel. My name is Kat and I am a flight attendant for a major US airline, which means I travel a lot. I travel so much. So I have a fairly good idea on what kind of bags really, really, really have features that will be useful and what have just features that are nice but maybe not the most useful. But this bag, this bag is the perfect travel bag. Now I know I said in the title of this video it is the perfect carry-on bag but this bag can also be used as a personal item so you can do either or personally I like to use my rollerboard as my carry-on and this bag will sit right on top very very nicely so because this bag intrigued me so much and I finally found it I finally found the perfect bag I did something I don't usually do which I reached out to the CEO of this company which let me add this is a woman run small business which I'm obviously glad to support so I reached out to her her name is Cheryl Mose I believe I'm saying her last name right and I said I need this bag and not only do I need this bag many many other travelers need this bag please make a deal with me and send me the bag so I can show all of you guys and thank goodness to the travel gods around she agreed and so here we are today without further ado me to show you the bag I know I'm being dramatic but that's how excited I am for this bag. So, da -da -da -da. so this is the bag that excited me so freaking much and I'm about to show you why. So this bag is made by Minky Blue, which again is a small business run by a female CEO and this is their Ella Tote bundle. So basically why this is the perfect travel bag. For starters, I'm five foot, I'm really little, so I know the bag might appear to be large compared to me, but it is a great size travel bag. Obviously it's large enough to carry a lot of your stuff, but small enough that this is still considered a personal item easily. It can easily fit underneath your seat, so no worries on that. This bag is a beautiful beautiful tote bag. It has such a very, very pretty exterior. As you can see, I love the padding on it. When you flip it around to the back, it does have the strap right here. So like I said, if you're somebody like me who uses your rollerboard or your suitcase as your carry-on, this can easily sit on top. You'll just slide the trolley sleeve over the handles of your rollerboard and that way it'll sit really nicely right on top. And then also while we're back here, as you can see right here. So this is one of my absolute favorite things about this bag. Now I do have to say this because it's going to be great for all travelers, but specifically my flight attendant. I'm a flight attendant. I know there's lots of flight attendants watching this channel and I know there's lots of future flight attendants watching this channel. This is going to be one of the best features that is going to work amazingly for you and this was one of the features that I was specifically looking for and I finally found it. So right here as you can see is this beautiful zipper and it does have a zipper on both ends so you can zip it from either way. It has the beautiful blue interior, very professional, very sleek and then right in here has this little pouch as you can see which you are basically going to be thanking me for. So in this pouch, when you slide it on out, and it obviously fits in there really nicely, so then when you take the pouch out, it does have a dual zipper as well, so you can unzip it from both ends once again. And then when you open it, it is this beautiful cooler bag. So why I said a lot of flight attendants love this is because when we're traveling on our trips, usually we're traveling with some kind of food. So for us, I would say this would probably hold, I would say two, maybe three days worth of food. I don't know if you can get all four days in here. So if you are somebody who flies four day trips, you're probably going to end up eating out once or twice, maybe at the airport or your hotel, which I do that anyways. I generally don't fly four day trips, but usually when I do fly trips, a couple of my meals will be eaten out and then a couple of them I will pack with me. So I feel like this is a great feature if you are flying, I would say a two to three day or even a one day trip. So you do not have to bring a giant cooler bag just to fit one to two to three meals in here. And a lot of passengers, I know y'all don't realize y'all can travel with food. Definitely look up on TSA.gov, the rules and the specifics on what you are allowed to bring and not allowed to bring. A lot of times you'll just have to go through extra security, but you are generally allowed to bring food. But let's say for instance, this doesn't appeal to you. 
So you would really like to use this feature for something else. It not only includes this that can fit in there nicely, but it also includes one of these. So right here is a beautiful shoe bag. So again, for my flight attendants, specifically, especially us ladies, you know when you have to change from your in-flight shoes over back into your airport shoes or your airport shoes back in your in-flight shoes? Ta-da! <laughs> so you can actually keep your in-flight shoes in your suitcase and then have this in there and then when you get to the plane, you can put this in the galley to keep it cold and then put your airport shoes in here and put them in the bag and put on your in-flight shoes. So this all kind of works out perfectly or if you're just a traveler and you don't really want the cooler feature, you can definitely bring along comfier shoes when you're on the airplane and put them in the bag and then you can slide the bag right in here so you can have your comfy shoes in here and then maybe your nice heels or your business shoes or vice versa. So this gives you the option to have a comfier set of shoes, pair of tennis shoes, whatever you are, and then whatever you're wearing. So you can switch in between that if you aren't trying to pack food. But not only that, say for this trip, for instance, you don't really want to have your shoes or your cooler bag in there, you can actually make this just part of the purse. So let me go ahead and fit that back in there and show you what I am talking about. Okay, so when you open the bag again, there are two things in here that I will show you in just a minute. But when you look at the inside of the bag, again, it does have that beautiful cobalt blue lining in it, which I absolutely adore. And then if you look deep over here, as you can see right here, there is a handle. So this handle has a zipper on both sides that you can easily slide back. And then when you do that and you slide it all the way back, there's a Velcro right here. So let me show you from this side. Right here, you can see there is a little bit of a Velcro thing right here. So you can just undo the Velcro and have the flap here and that gives you easy access over to that cooler bag that's in there right now. So if for instance, I did not wanna have the cooler bag, I just wanted to have the full design of the purse itself. So I wanna have the full body of the tote to put whatever I would like in there. It does give you that feature as well. So either you can choose between your insulated cool bag, your shoe bag, which also doesn't get the purse started because your shoes are in the shoe bag, or just the full size of the tote to put whatever you would like in it. This woman is a genius. And I know it because I travel all of the time. That is such a great feature, especially for flight attendants. I absolutely love that. But let's go ahead and put this back in there and let's zip that back on up so I can show you the rest of the tote. Okay, so that was easily zipped back up. We're back into the tote. So another thing that I like about the tote is right on here. So right where the handle was to unzip the back is this right here. So as you can see, this is something that you can go ahead and take your keys attach your keys to and throw it in there so then you will never lose your keys inside the bag because as soon as you get to your car you just go to the side of the bag and look for this right here and that's easy access to your keys love that because the last thing i want to do after a long trip is get into the parking lot and suddenly i can't find my keys which happens more than i would like to admit another thing that i really like about the bag is on both sides here and here there are pockets so you could put anything that you would like in there. So say for instance, for a slide attendance, you wanna put your tablet in one, or say you have a water bottle that you would like to put in there. So for example, you can bring your water bottle to the airport and don't put any water in it, and then maybe run over to a Starbucks or a water fountain and fill it up once you're inside the airport. But you can go ahead and put your water bottle inside there. And so it fits beautifully, and that gives you access to a pocket and a water bottle holder, or two water bottle holders, or two pockets, whatever you would like to use them for. So that's another feature of the Bag, which makes me just know this woman is brilliant. So on top of that, for somebody like me, I consistently travel with my laptop. Because it is a Mac, I do like to go ahead and keep a case on it. And right in here, inside the bag, right here where the buckle is, you can undo the buckle and there's an entire pocket that you can put your laptop in. And it is pretty padded on the bag itself, but also on the divider. So if you are somebody who doesn't necessarily like to use a case, I feel like you could probably get away with it on here, but I specifically do like to use a case. And I do want to mention that the laptop holder does go all the way down. Even when you do have food in the bottom or shoes in the bottom, you will always have access to this. It will not be blocked off if you do decide to use that bottom pocket. But you can go ahead and take your laptop and slide it on in there, which you can see there's plenty of of room still so if I can put my charger or anything else in there and it easily fits with my case as well and then go ahead and buckle it in there okay so little recap you can have food you can have shoes you can have your laptop you can have your keys attached to the holder you can have your water bottle in either side of the pocket and we're not done <laughs> so the next thing that this does have 
is right over here where the laptop pocket is. There are two smaller pockets in here. So you can put anything that you would like easy access to. There's no closing mechanism on there. So just be careful not to like dump the purse out and whatever you had in there is gonna fall out. But say I wanted to put a camera battery or something like that right in there so I can easily grab it, maybe a charger or whatever I would like to do. But on the other side, there is also a pocket over here. And this one does have a closing mechanism on it. So you can go ahead and slide that open and then put any goodies in here. So for example, maybe if I didn't have my wallet that day but I wanted to bring a couple cards, I could put my debit cards or some extra money or whatever I wanted into the side pocket. So that's a really nice feature as well because that will be nicely tucked into the bag. And then also with their food in there, it does give you access to the top half of the bag. So even if you do have the cooler in this section and you do have your laptop still currently in there, you have the entire top half of the bag to do whatever you would like. So on the days that you do wanna use the full bag, you do not have to use the shoe compartment or the thing, and that gives you full access to the entire tote. Otherwise, you do still have a good amount of space, like my whole hand still fits in there, to pretty much put all of your extra necessities on there. And then of course, you have the closable zipper, so the bag does completely zip up to keep all of your stuff nicely stored in there. So when you bundle the bag, not only do you get all those bag features, the keys, the water bottle, and the laptop are mine. But not only do you get the nice features of the bag itself, but two other things that I did pull out of the bag that I want to show you is it also comes with this in the bundle. And this is a beautiful bag, really nice and small. And for those of you who know, as a flight attendant, I will usually carry a bag for work and carry an extra bag for the layover. So this is actually, to me, a perfect layover bag. So if I just want a really small bag to take on my layover, I can throw it in there and then grab it on out. And then I can either carry it as a clutch like this, which I probably wouldn't do. I would probably open it up and it does have a strap on it. So you can completely take from here to here and strap up the bag itself. So you just click it in on one side, click it on the other. And then right here, it does have a little belt feature so you can actually adjust the bag to how high or how low you want it. And then I would wrap it around and then I would just take something like this on my layover. So I would probably just go ahead and take my phone and throw my phone in there. And then it does have like the pocket right here so you can put like maybe some debit cards or something in there or like a camera charger or something like that, whatever you'd like into the pocket itself. I could easily fit my camera in here so I could put my camera in here and then it has the magnetic closure and then keep it right on me and I would generally carry it in the front because that way I can always have constant access to my bag. And there's my layover bag. So not only do I have my work bag, but now I have easy access to my layover bag as well, which she did a great job. They're absolutely beautiful. The material is beautiful. It feels expensive. The lining is really, really pretty. So I really like that. So not only do I now have that, now have my bag, but also in the bundle, it does give you access to a travel umbrella. Now, I don't know how many of you guys are uh, frequent watchers of my channel, but I do have a tendency to have a really bad habit of getting rained on. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I have no excuses for myself. I have no explanation for it. It's just a bad habit of mine. So the fact that this has a beautiful matching cobalt blue umbrella that is easily travel friendly with its own case is really, really, really nice. And if you don't believe me, go watch that Dublin video and see how that goes. I'm sure there's a couple London videos where I'm getting nicely poured on. There's quite a few. So you can absolutely put your umbrella in here, right in there. It fits really nicely, matches beautifully with your bag. And also your beautiful layover bag can go in there as well. Can fit quite a bit of stuff in here even when you do have that bottom pocket used up by your food or your shoes. It has literally every single feature that you should need as a travel bag. And of course, you can use it as a personal item so you can still have your larger carry-on to fit all of your clothes and other stuff. So once again, Kudos to Minky Blue, this is such a beautiful bag. And if you do like this bag, you can head over to minkyblue.com and support a small woman-owned business. Once again, thank you to Cheryl. I really, really appreciate you doing this for me. I love this bag. So if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you have not already, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.